it's time! Hotmus Prime Reviews! Going Hard Panther! Here comes the latest review by Hotmus Prime! Good day everyone, this is John but Hotmus Prime Reviews. As always, I'm wishing you all the very best. Please feel free to like, share and subscribe if you like and enjoy the content I provide, which I thoroughly hope you do. Please leave comments below. Um, today, oh actually please click that notification bell for latest content and also feel free to join the facebook group hopmas prime reviews uh yes so here we go this is i'm really impressed i really wanted this kit i was seeing that some stores uh, i can't remember was it cyber was it cyber studios or something i don't know they're quite known i know that they were selling one it was like nearly 20 over 25 pound 30 pound from australia this one the toy z stores Cheat Kingdom Deluxe Cheetor Gut Gun and Sniper Rifle Upgrade Kit for Cheetor and I got it for £15 including postage from China ordered it a week ago it arrived sweet so let's start first and foremost with the packaging as you can see two bags it came in a little box oh, I'm so excited for this I really am I love my Cheetor figure but one thing I didn't like was the weapon it came with was pants we all know God bless third party companies for giving us this. I love the figure, but I wanted the gut gun and his sniper rifle that he used on a couple of episodes. So here we go. Hang on. Almost there. It's sealed. So, start with the iconic gut gun. As you can see, it's on a hinge. Not much going on there, but I've seen on some reviews people have had it and it was loose. Luckily, mine isn't. Yes, I don't have to mess around putting the bar in. But as you can see, it's 3D printed. It's a nice gold. It's got the cheetah print. It's got the lovely pink for the gut. You've got the handle. And there you go. And same for this bit. You see, you've got the nice gold handle. I think that goes in there. No other way. That go in there? I don't want to go in. Hmm, maybe I need to shave a bit off of that, but it won't go in this hole, see in here? It goes in, it sits in there, it's loose. I'll put, put a blob of glue or something in it. But there you go, and this is the sniper rifle. Nice focus, there we go. Nice gold, crisp detail on the cannon. But the gut gun, the gut gun. So here we have Cheetor, and as you can see, color contrasts. Pretty spot on, I'd say. I'd say that was freaking sweet, you know. There we go. Try and get the zoom to work. There we go. As you can see, the, the contrast, it don't do it justice on the camera. It looks like it's slightly different, but it's not. It really is on par. I mean, fits in his hand. It's a bit loose. Push it down, see if it goes tighter. A little bit gutted, it's a little bit loose. But for his gut gun. Super excited. I mean, look, there you go. Cheetor has got his gut gun. Posability. You can get the arm 90 degrees. As I said, it is a bit loose, so you might have to put something around it. Thin layer of tape or something. But, you know, it's all gravy. Because look, that is how Cheetor's meant to look. Have his gut gun. Not the silly tail axe that they give him, which I think was like a nod to the trans metal Cheetor. But, as you can see, this should peg into here, which is snug as a bug in a rug. I'll not push it any harder, because it'll probably break it. There you go, that clicked in that time. But there, so you got that gun. Got his sniper. Yeah, freaking sweet, freaking sweet. So we're going to come back in a second and I'll have put him into beast mode and we'll see where it stores on beast mode. Yeah. And welcome back. So I haven't managed to find anywhere for this part of the gun, but I managed to get to stay in, in animal mode. But if you see, 
this is the gut gun here. There we go, I've got it to focus. It basically fits in there. The barrel goes in between the hands and it does end up with a golden winky. <laughs> so <laughs> that's a bit strange. Would have been better if they could have made it flip up or something, but hey, his, his winky is made of gold. Who knew his winky was a key? He's got a gold member. Oh. Austin Powers, Fasher. If you've never seen Austin Powers, you won't understand what the hell I've just done there. <laughs> but I have to say, apart from smacking my camera, let's sort this out because it's doing my swizzling. Thoroughly, fully enjoy this kit. It's such, it's such a good thing. Such a good thing. I mean, like I say, it fits in animal mode really well. I mean, I don't know if you can have it. You probably could put the handle in there and have his cannon coming out his back end so he's got cannon booty going on. But I prefer just to do it like that. So it does go into the animal mode. Pretty freaking sweet. Let's go back to studio for my final thoughts. Yeah. And welcome back. So, time for my final thoughts. Amazing kit. Totally, fully recommend it. Like I said, it was about £15 off of eBay. Way cheaper than the Fumbi Studios, whatever they're called, version, which was like £30 from Australia. This came from China, ordered it a week ago, it turned up, said it won't come until July. So happy it turned up. Fully completes the figure. So I totally recommend it. Apart from, like I said, the only grab I have is the handle's a bit loose in his hand, but I can sort that with, like I said, a thin layer of tape or something on it just to, just to make it thicker and hold it. But that's a small gripe for something that should have really come with it made. Not so much that the sniper configure gun, but it does give another playability mode for the axe tail, which, as again, options are great. But he should have come with that to begin with, Hasbro. But thankfully, third party companies are out there to give us what we need to finish our figs. So I'm fully over the moon. Apart from the only thing I have now, I'm going to have to get the Netflix Cheetor because I want the proper blue and the gold because it will match that so much better. I mean, I love this Cheetor, but I definitely will be trying to pick up the Netflix Cheetor and then I'll either keep this one for beast mode or I may push it along move it along to a new home but he's an awesome figure an awesome upgrade to an awesome and one of my favourite figures from the Beast Wars so this has been John Bot Hummus Prime Reviews glad you came hope you've enjoyed it till all toy lovers are one please take care thanks for watching Scooby Bendy <laughs>